Hi everyone, welcome back to another session of Azure DevOps training. So in this one, I'm going to show you how to create an account in Azure DevOps. I don't have a bigger agenda for the session, so I'll directly uh, hop on to uh, a browser and I'll show you how to create the account, all right? Okay, so you need to navigate to dev.azure.com. You can use any browser, whatever you want. So once you're here, you can see it's saying uh, azure.microsoft.com ENUS products DevOps. So that means DevOps is the product. This one is the product of Microsoft. It is a service provided by Microsoft, all right? So you can go ahead and create a free account. The only problem with the free account is that it provides, uh, I mean, it, it, it only allows a limited number of users to access your account. So I think it's only five users. But I think that is enough for you in order to practice because even in the free, free account, you'll be able to see and practice each and everything that Azure DevOps provides. The only problem is that the number of users, all right, you'll not be able to add more than five users, all right? So let's just go ahead and create an account. Start free. So if you already have a GitHub account, you can use that as well in order to log in, but I'm going to show you how to create a new one, all right? So I'll click on create one. Provide an email ID here. Right, I think it's already registered. All right, let me try with a new one. Okay, and I'll create a password here. If you want to see your password, you can click on show password, all right? <clears throat> so now on the email ID that you would have entered, you will receive a code that you need to enter here, okay? So I'll just check my email. Just give me a few seconds. I'll check my email and I will provide the code here. So the code that I've gotten is one double seven six. Okay, so you need to check your email. You will get a notification with the code. Okay, so here I am just unchecking this because I mean, if you want any product information, notification, anything from Microsoft, you can keep it checked, but I'm unchecking this. Okay, and then click on next. Click on next. Pick one square that shows two identical objects. I believe this one. Okay. So this might take a few seconds as it is creating the account. And this is asking profile information. But you know what? I'm going to skip this step because once I fill in the information, it is going to ask me about the payments, but I don't want to like, I mean, I, I want to be on the free account. Okay. So I will again, go to dev.azure.com and I'll click on sign in. So it will directly sign me, sign in me to the account that I just created. Okay. So you can see that it actually allowed me to log into Microsoft Azure. Okay. Now you need to search for Azure DevOps. Azure DevOps, so Azure DevOps organization. And here, if you scroll down, you can click on my Azure DevOps organization, okay? And click on here. Now here, I don't want to keep this name. It is picking this name from my email ID. So I'm going to provide my name here. 
uh, it's fine. All right, I don't want to. Okay, let me go here. This is okay. This this is basically asking me. This is nothing but this is creating your URL. Okay, so once you actually log in, it is going to show you dev dot azure dot com slash and then your organization name. So I'm not changing the organization name. Let's just keep it this. Okay, and here it is like you know picking my region. You can change your region if you want because you will be not you will not be able to change it later. Okay, so here I I'll provide the captcha code and then continue. And that's it. You can see that it, it allowed me to log into Azure DevOps, okay? And this is the organization, the default organization that it created for me. And here you can see it is giving me other options, for example, organization settings, and it is also asking me to create a project to get started, all right? But all these things we will see uh, in upcoming sessions that how to create a project, how to create sprints, how to create backlog and everything else. So don't worry about that. For now, like, you know, for now just, create an account in Azure DevOps and uh, for a few things, right? I mean, for example, the one that the steps that I skipped was only to avoid um, basically like, you know, adding your card and stuff. So once you create the account, you can again log into Azure, uh, dev.azure.com and that will actually, and in Azure, in dev.azure.com, it will automatically sign you in. And after it signs you in, you have to search for Azure DevOps in the search bar. Okay. And once you have that, you will, it will, it will basically take you to the uh, page where it asked you to select the region and uh, to the, like, you know, uh, you can basically rename whatever, like, you know, with whatever email ID you log in because it provided the organization name, default organization to organization name to that particular email name right so you can do those settings and the moment you confirm it is going to navigate you to azure devops org okay so now we are under the azure devops org and if you want to change any settings you can again click on this particular icon go to profile and make the changes all right <clears throat> So here, if you want to keep an image, you can do that. You can change the name. You can change the contact email. Or I think I was wrong about region. It is also allowing you to change the region. All right. So you can do these kind of like, you know, profile level uh, changes by navigating to profile by clicking on this particular icon. Okay. So this is how you create an account. In the next session, I'll show you how to create an organization because this was created by default. So we'll see how to create an organization and what is the meaning of an organization in the whole structure of DevOps, okay? What is the meaning of organization and then why we first create an organization, then we create a project and then we create a sprint, okay? So we'll understand all of those things in the upcoming sessions. For now, I would suggest you to um, go ahead and create an account in Azure DevOps, all right? And if you have any doubts, because this used to be very simple earlier, but as you saw that when I was trying to create the account, it was asking me some extra information and I'm pretty sure that like, you know, if you fill all those information, it will then again ask you the billing information, which you don't want to enter, I'm sure, right? So once you are, you have provided the basic information to create the account, once the account is created, do not fill any extra information, rather go to a new tab and again, navigate to dev.azure.com, okay? And just sign in. Once you sign in, after that, it will directly ask you the organization name, and it will ask you the region. Sorry, it, it is not going to directly ask you that. It will actually navigate you to this page, Microsoft Azure. So here you need to search for Azure DevOps. Once you search for Azure DevOps, this is the page that you will get. And once you get this page, you can click on here, my Azure DevOps organization, okay? Once you click on this, then it will ask you the organization name, the default organization name, and also your region. So you fill out those information and click on save and it will navigate you to this particular page, okay? So once you have this, you will be ready to go ahead and create another organization and then move for moving forward you will be able to create a project all right so that's it for now i'll see you in the next session till then bye bye